Hello, my beautiful Aquarius Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your 2024 annual overview. Remember, this is a glance at what's going on for the year. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. There's also a website ticker going down at the bottom of the page where it's letting you know you can also check out the retreat that we're doing in January in Key West. If you'd like to join us, we're resetting our energy and learning how to focus in a direct way for each one of us. And as a group, it will magnify all of us. So I hope you can join us. It'll be a lot of fun. And I am super excited to offer it. It is my first actual retreat. We tried to start this a couple of years back, but this one's going to be better for it. So don't forget to hit the likes and subscribes. Remember, that is the energy that the algorithms pick up on. So thank you for that assistance. And let's move right on into the beautiful energy of our positive new year. Hello, Aquarius. You've got the Ten of Rods and the Sagittarius Archangel Uriel. The Ten of Rods is the energy of the burden being lifted and the struggle being over. So we're going to definitely start 2024 in a new, brand new, freeing energy. Don't forget, when you have this energy of release, we have to completely let it go and not take on anything else. That means you're going to feel weird when you stop having all that burden on you. Doesn't mean that you go back and find something difficult to stand under, right? Yeah. So. Let yourself acclimate to the positive new energy of being able to stand upright and walk without cares and troubles burdening you. So 10 is the cycle changer and it's definitely cycle changing. Then we have the beautiful temperance. This is the Archangel Uriel. This is a Sagittarius major arcana. It's the energy of alchemy being done by this beautiful archangel. She's in charge of the fire of life, the flame of our beautiful vitality. And she's doing alchemy to create all of this beautiful pixie dust where she lays it in your path. Her wheelhouse is synchronicity. So with the 10 of rods and this beautiful archangel coming in, this is a fabulous start. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Yeah, so we don't want to be in the overthinkers chart either. This is where you have to let go and let the universe do some things. Remember, the temperance card means it might take it a little bit to get aligned. So while you're waiting for the alignment, you don't want to try to micromanage it. The Eight of Swords is the energy of feeling like you're spinning out and trying to grab at every single straw. Don't do that. Focus inward. See, she's got a blindfold on and her hands are tied because she's not supposed to be reaching for or thinking about any of these. It's not even supposed to be in her awareness because that makes you exhausted and you start to worry about things you really can't do anything about. Let the universe do the micromanaging and you just focus on your end result because that's ultimately what it's trying to bring to you. So stay out of your head. Don't overthink it and let's keep it moving. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them, hello, in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, you know, that's your January energy. That's a really great way to start. The Ten of Swords. This is clearing out stuff. So January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. All right. So the underlier is <laughs> the fool. Hello. So it's, I can't pick these. They just do it. So Sagittarius also had the fool as the underlier. We like it when the fool shows up. So we'll accept it for every single person. And so it is. This is the energy of change. 
absolute change. And that's a new cycle beginning for you, closing the door to the past. Now, we already know that's really true because you had the Ten of Rods and now you have the Ten of Swords. You know that cycles are changing because the Tens are the cycle change. So when we have the Fool, it means it closes the door to the past and that is sealed. You do not have to worry. It is not coming back anytime soon. Well, at all. It will it may show up on you if you try to cycle backwards. That's why we have to make sure we're paying attention and moving forward. So allow yourself to be in that place of directly aiming for your goal and keeping that goal in your heart so that you can keep the, the momentum moving forward. Now, we've got the January energy starting here, but we're also going to get our, our clarifiers out and see what they've got crack a -lacking. And the first card there is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is the energy of the wave of abundance that's coming in behind him. You see that? And he's got a fish in the cup, which means the universe is signifying, hey, you will be fed. You will be taken care of. You will be provided for. The universe is infinite. The wave of abundance is limitless. So bringing that in is also very, very helpful to give you an idea that the change is coming, but it's not going to leave you at any point where you feel like you're lacking. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we're going to start off with our January here. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And our underlier our clarification deck is the magician now this is a fabulous energy because this is talking about you being able to make contact with divine and manifesting your best possible life now so we love the energy of the magician as it shows up because it is you focusing on the infinite and bringing it in through your law of attraction energy so we'll take that thank you universe so the Fool and the Magician are the underliers. This is going to be a, a, a you-know-what reading. It's a, a hellified reading. We'll say it that way. All right. That was a word I wanted to use, but then, then I stopped. So here we are. Ten of Swords, January, clearing all toxic energy, letting go of things that felt like you were kind of being picked on or, or targeted. The target is now off your back. You are being cleared, and it's literally being cleared. So some of you may have something that you, you were accused of that is now releasing. And there is the Empress. Brand new start coming in. So the Empress is the energy of creation itself. And she's coming in to let you know you're being guided. And she's going to help you with all the things coming in as long as you stay open to the creative source energy. That means you're going to get inspirations, divine understandings and downloads, and it will help you to create your way forward past the toxic energy of that Ten of Swords being removed. So we'll take that with a happy little day. And that's January. February. You have action and logic will not serve you in that Two of Swords. So the Knight of Rods is the action card, meaning let's go. It's showing up on horseback. It's not, it's not going to wait. It's going to try to push you to go. It's going to prompt you. And then you've got, don't, don't try to make it logical. Just go. Let it be miraculous because that's where miracles come from is the miraculous energy of not being logical. There's never a miracle that's going to pop in saying, oh, let me tell you how I did this X, Y, and Z, and this had to add to that. No, it's just going to be boom. There it is without any explanation. If we could make miracles logical, they would no longer be miracles. They are not in that. They don't move in that energy, right? That is a way they work. So very fast moving energy with the two of swords. So Knight of rods, two of swords is February, March. This is the Garden of Eden energy, 
And that's where you're standing in that nine of pentacles. Now, this is where you have a self-fulfilling prophecy. You notice there's some resistance here, that five of rods, but you're not by yourself. Okay. Whatever's trying to come in at you is not going to make it because you've got somebody supporting you. Now, this can also be someone who's got a job interview or someone who's telling you about a job and they're saying, hey, come apply for this. Or it's somebody that you've gone through an interview and they really are being your champion. They are fending off all the other people saying, yeah, y'all might as well go home. I've already got my person. So this nine of pentacles comes with a self-fulfilling prophecy that I, I like to use the affirmation of, I know that I know that I know, and thank you universe. I know that you are continuously conspiring in my favor and I receive exactly what I need, exactly when I need it every single time. And when you're in that place, you can also welcome an abundance from sources known and unknown. This is the, the information of this is don't let the old way of thinking or what somebody else is trying to block you with stop you because you've got divine assistance here so that's march april oh very nice got another empress so if you have it up here with that ten of swords well now you're in the energy of standing your ground with the seven of rods and the empress energy so the seven of rods is meaning don't let other people's ideas or, you know, as they try to prod you with, well, that's not good. You, you might as well, you're wasting your time. You might as well do this or that, or you know, let yourself stand your ground because you've gotten this far on your own. Don't let other people talk you out of what you're trying to do just because they can't imagine it doesn't mean it doesn't belong to you. And there's the Empress saying it absolutely does. She's giving you the framework to create this new thing. And she's going to give you the instructions and the ability to go forward. This is something brand new. And the fertility of the empress is going to help it grow. So don't you dare let somebody else talk you out of what you're supposed to be doing just because they can't get it. It's, it's, not, their, it's not their path. So there's April. May, we have the seven of cups and the three of cups. So the seven of cups, you know, is the dump truck load of blessings. So that's amazing energy with the three of cups. The seraphim are pouring in a double portion. So not only are you getting the dump, dump truck load, you're getting a double portion of the dump truck load. Hello. <laughs> double dump trucks. <laughs> so just make sure you don't try to dive in and do it all at once. You can't, you're not going to be able to take that whole scoop of what's in that dump truck in one hand. Okay, y y there's no way you'll drive yourself crazy trying to scoop it all in one scoop. You've got to just take a piece at a time, right? And let yourself work through it. So we love the seraphim. Seraphim are angelic beings and they are ethereal, energetic beings. They are salt, sulfur, and mercury. They also represent mind, body, and spirit. And that is the energy of they might be little, tiny, little hummingbird size, but that doesn't mean they're not super powerful. Oh, very nice. Look at your June. Now, you had two empresses, which is the beautiful fertility of growth and abundance. Well, this is where it all comes together in the fruition with that beautiful emperor and the ace of swords. The emperor is the Aries major arcana, but what it represents is the fully formed, actionable energy of you being able to stand in your power. Now, this may be that you get a position of power. Or it may be you have you create your own position of power, maybe your own business. Whatever it is, you're going to have the clarity to do it. Remember back here we were saying don't pay attention to the blocks or people trying to stop you. And don't pay attention to the people giving you all the fear or telling you it's not possible. This is where you get the moment of why you stuck it out. Because there's the moment of victory. The Ace of Swords, A, is an ace. And all aces are gifts from divine. B, it's the energy cutting through the veil and it's the energy of victory. So you can't go wrong here. Plus you've got the emperor backing you. Hello. We'll take it. So that's June. July is resurrection energy and the Pisces moon. So you have Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection and the Pisces moon, which is the embryo of what you're trying to create. So Maybe it didn't, something didn't go quite right last year, and now you're in the energy of something coming back around. Remember, this is bringing something back that you thought was off the table, 
and it's literally resurrecting the energy and it's right in alignment with what you've been trying to manifest here with that Pisces moon. So beautiful July energy. Yay, team. August. Now, oh, I, they said they, they popped in with this. It doesn't have to be the exact thing that you thought you were trying to create before. It can be a new version of it. Most of the time it is. So just let it let it do what it does. Don't try to bring something old back in just because you think that's what I'm talking about. It's always better to have something better. Something better and new. So oh, we have the Five of Cups and the Magician. So you've got two Magicians out here as well. You've got two Empresses and two Magicians. Very solid energy trying to remind you, you can't manifest from the past. You see that's all spilled out on the ground and is not, is not even useful anymore. There's no way to get it back into the cups. And it was rancid. So we're going to let that go away. And we're going to start brand new fresh. But you're turned around the wrong direction here. It's reminding you. If you want to manifest, you have to be facing the future. Because you can't manifest in the past. It's That's just dead energy. So you have to do it when you're facing forward with new things. And it's going to give you the, the boost you need with those two cups that are waiting for you to turn around in the right direction. So keep your eyes focused. On the, on the future and the goal because manifesting from the past only creates more of the past. And you've already lived that. That's a waste. Now, ooh, hello. That was uh, July, August, so now we're in September. We have the energy of that Page of Cups that showed up earlier and the beautiful Gemini Major Arcana, the Lovers. So you can tell by looking at the Lovers energy it's the energy of being connected in a soul energy, a soul light. It can also mean that you're on your soul's purpose because you're in that divine energy because this is the divine masculine and feminine. The Gemini is the twin, right? But this is the energy of the masculine, which is the warrior, and the feminine, which is your soul. That's your physical body and your soul. And as, you, as your body is the container of the soul. It is illuminated as it rises into the light, but it's still anchoring you in the body energy. So that's why it's saying it can it can be an enlightened place where you're now accelerating toward your beautiful connection to source. Now, it can also mean you have a divine relationship. And it can mean there's a Gemini in your life. However, that's going, it may be one of your natal chart. Now, that page of cups is coming in saying, this is a really abundant connection because this is the the universe providing saying we will provide what you need you will be fed you will be taken care of the page of cups is offering that fish in the cup and that wave of abundance is behind his head saying that the universe is limitless and there's always going to be plenty so don't worry about that now that was september october we have another now this is different so look at how these two pages are very different okay we have the seraphim again you had that twice and another double because you have the two pages. But this page has a secret. He's kind of keeping to himself until it's fully, fully assured and fully vetted and, and starts to materialize. So this could be information on a new job or a new relationship. It could be a new business you're going to create or something that you're doing. But you just don't want to say anything and, and get it stomped on before you even get going. And this is smart. Keep your dreams to yourself until you're ready to, to stand with them. And especially when they're just sprouting, because that's when they're the most vulnerable for someone else to come and cancel them out by their words. So you got the celebratory energy of the seraphim, just like you had down here. So that beautiful energy is saying, hold this, protect this until it's time to say something. But you're still in a place where you're feeling a little celebratory in your heart. You are feeling the energy of that three of cups, which is very much in a place of of feeling very excited, right? Now, that's October. Ooh, look at November. Holy moly. That's a victory. So we have the beautiful world card, which is stepping through the vortex into your beautiful victory. And then you have the energy of the Ten of Cups. So this is a cycle that you are now stepping into the beginning of something that is landing you in a place of your absolute happiness, harmony, peace, love, joy, healing, abundance, everything you can imagine. And it's a higher level and you're stepping into that. So it's something the universe is creating for you. By the by, that is you, Aquarius. 
this is the Aquarian energy here. So you got the Aquarius, the Scorpio, the Taurus, and the Leo, and they're creating this vortex as you step through. So just like you started here, you've got another cycle coming through right here. So very nice. We love the Ten of Cups. That That is the, the perfect energy there together. So you're going to feel very accomplished. Some of you may be buying a home or really starting a family at that point. Hello, Resurrection. So in December, we have the Judgment card again, Archangel Gabriel. Y'all got a lot of doubles out here. Then you've got the Four of Swords telling you, let yourself restore, rejuvenate, give, refill your tank. Don't keep running on empty. You've got to let yourself, bring yourself back to wholeness before you, you know, because you're doing all of this stuff. You want to be in a place where you let yourself kind of take a moment to recharge because we forget and we get to doing stuff. And absolutely, when you look down, all of a sudden, there's no gas in the tank. And we certainly don't want to be stranded in all of this beautiful energy. So let's talk about your doubles, darlings, really quickly. You have the double um, empress. You had the double magician. You had the double judgment card. You had the double three of cups. You had another double. Which one was it? I'm a looking. Page of cups. That's five doubles just right off the top of my head. And I think that that does it. But this is perfect. Um, great energy, my darlings. Have a beautiful new 2024. If you can join me in Key West, please do so. It's going to be a blast. I look forward to it. Many blessings to you all. I'll see you soon. Namaste, my friends.